have you ever wanted to launch a small-scale rocket prototype? No? Or maybe yes? What should the initial pressure and launch angle be to make your rocket fly like this? My name is Yula Zavait and I'm so excited to share with you the outcomes of my Matura thesis that focused on the dynamic modeling and experimental investigation of the downrange of a water rocket. Rapid air expansion during the launch tube phase when the rocket slides up the launch rod, followed by the dynamic pressure and mass change during the thrust phase, as well as the aerodynamic profile are the main factors that complicate the modeling of the rocket's motion. Thus, the motion is simulated in Excel by implementing Others method, which breaks the rocket's path into a lot of small segments, enabling control of the rocket's behavior at each time step. After the rocket's parts were modeled and 3D printed, the rocket was launched a gazillion times at various initial pressures and launch angles. Whew. Let's explore the findings. As seen in the first graph, both empirical and numerical data revealed a significant nonlinear increase in the downrange with the increase of the initial pressure. A slight deviation of the empirical range from the model is observed at higher pressures, showcasing rather a steep upward curve. Even though similar asymmetrical curves with a significantly steeper decrease after the rocket reaches its apogee are observed, the model tends to overestimate the apogee, leading to lower ranges. Here, the maximal downrange is reached at the angles lower than 45 degrees in both empirical and numerical cases, and after the range reaches its peak, the further increase in launch angles is followed by the range decrease. Moreover, the greater contribution of the launch angle to the range is observed from the empirical findings, and at some angles the model tends to underestimate the rocket's range. Yeah, the experimental precision could have been improved by attaching the GPS to the rocket and using the accelerometer. Oh, and the model's accuracy could have been enhanced by incorporating the air thrust and the water losses at the launch into the model. Yet, the model may be deemed sufficiently accurate as it provides reasonable range values. That's it. Thank you.